Welcome to Downpour.com's interview series. I'm Malcolm Hillgardner, and today it's my pleasure to be speaking with Armando Duran. Welcome, Armando Duran. Thanks for joining us today. You're here today in Blackstone Audio's uh, studio recording Love in the Time of Cholera by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. What has this experience been like for you? Absolutely terrific. When you undertake, I think, a book of this scope and uh, this kind of uh, literary importance, you want to make sure that you're surrounded by a terrific team of people who can make your job easier. And that was absolutely the case for me here. Brian Barney took remarkable care of me throughout the recording process, and it's been an absolute pleasure. Garcia Marquez is the winner of the 1982 Nobel Prize in Literature and is considered one of the most influential writers of the 21st century. How did you feel when you were asked to narrate one of his most popular works? Well, my first answer, the political one, would be to say that it was an amazing gift to have the opportunity to participate in the recording of what is undeniably uh, one of the great works of uh, literature. And the fact that it is part of the pantheon of Latin American literature makes me even prouder to be part of this effort. I guess my real and honest reaction is gulp. I've been a huge fan of Marquez since I was in college. And there is no denying the weight, the importance of Marquez uh, to all Latinos, to Latino readers, and to literature in general. So once I was able to get past that big gulp, I decided to approach it as I would any book, which is to understand that you have a set of objectives and a mission to tell the story, to make sure that the reader understands the story in the best way possible, and to do the writing itself as much credit as you can. Love in the Time of Cholera is a story of love that is so strong, it binds two people's lives together for more than half a century. What type of research or special preparation did you do prior to recording this book, and particularly for the main characters of Florentino Ariza and Fermina Daza? You know, Malcolm, I always find it useful to immediately go back and reread the book if I have had the opportunity to read it before, and if not, obviously to read it through for the first time after I've been uh, given the assignment. And also, I find it very useful to gather as many essays, critical analyses of the book as I can put together, because it helps me look for thematic content that I sometimes, as a reader, might have missed. Listen to the full interview at downpour.com.